First of all, thank you very, very much for the invitation to be a part of this. Uh, it does mean a lot uh, to me, uh, particularly over the years of being mayor, and to welcome so many Mons to our city and to see them establish themselves, grow, prosper, and lead. And I also want to just uh, say something from my family uh, to uh, the, the family of the Colonel. Uh, I noticed in some of the information in the resolution that we have for the family that he has something like 30-some grandchildren, great-grandchildren. I have four. I thought that was a lot. Um, but this is a familiar benediction in our faith tradition, and I share it with you and wish it to the family as well. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter now into the joy of your Lord. I serve uh, this area in the California State Legislature, and we have prepared, both the Senate and the Assembly, a memorial resolution. The State of California, unanimously through its Senate and Assembly, have uh, jointly uh, approved and wish for me to present to the family this memorial resolution. It outlines much of what you have heard today, but I, I was struck by just a couple of items we, we put in it. Number one, that the Colonel, I think at, at 12 years of age, became one of the fighters in the Laotian Secret War. That is young dedication, but it began a lifetime of dedication. I was also struck by how quickly uh, the Colonel rose to leadership in the, in the service. Um, and then finally, uh, noticing uh, the, the importance of remembrance, of service and duty. He never forgot until he drew his final breath. And so on behalf of the California legislature, I would like to present this memorial resolution uh, in honor of Colonel Langfong. And I present it uh, to the family. Thank you for inviting me. My first duty as mayor of the city of Clovis is to first give my condolences to the family of Colonel Vang Fong, to all his friends, and all those that served with him in the secret war in Laos. For his contribution to his people were great, and now that he has passed, we have to honor all that he did Many come from all over the world to this country for a better life. There's many stories, but one story we cannot forget is the Hmong story. I have the privilege to serve on the city council with Wang um, Manatua, and um, I've learned a lot because of him serving right next to me of the Hmong story. Not too long ago, there was a group of people who thought they could tell you what to believe, how to believe, how to act, and the Hmong people said no. We like our traditions. We like our faith. And Brigadier uh, General Powell said, 
No. We want to be independent. We want to live our lives free and rose against that. He found fellow people that believe, and we saw them here today, and we're celebrating one life here with Colonel Van Fong, and they fought against it. And they joined us. They joined us. We call it a secret war, but it was a war, I believe, of freedom. I believe it's a war for humanity, that we believe that man should be free. And it was only right that after that war, America returned the favor. And for those who fought with us, were brought here. And that's your story, that after you helped us, we helped you. And you have thrived. 31 grandchildren, that's a lot. That's good. And so we can't forget your story. And I'm glad he has 31 others that will tell that story that when you wanted to be free, you fought for your freedom. You helped the United States of America to fight for that freedom. And here in America, you're contributing here. I see the police officers that are there to help our communities. So did he live an extraordinary life? Of course he did. So we honor Colonel Van Fong today because that's the kind of people that he was, that's the kind of people he served, and that's the kind of people he helped bring to America. So on behalf of the citizens of Clovis, I want to thank him for all he did. I want to thank his family for making him available to us. I want to thank his fellow servicemen who helped him be who he was, to uh, Brigadier General Powell, and to all of you who continue to contribute to our society to make America the great country it is. Thank you very much. What an honor it is to be here with all of you um, this morning to celebrate the life of a remarkable individual um, that made significant contributions not only to our local community, but to the Hmong um, community. And so I just want to take time to, one, give my condolences to the family, to the extended family, friends, those that I know personally. I know that when you lose someone, it is hard, um, but I think that it is important, as was mentioned by the other dignitaries, to really highlight the remarkable life that Colonel Bing Fong was able to live and that he continues to be an example for all of us on how we can serve and how we can lead. Um, as was mentioned, I was impressed by the fact that a young boy of 12 years old made a conscious decision to step up and fight for what he believed was right. And because of his bravery um, in his fight, along with um, General Vang Pao, they were able to open the doors for the Hmong people to come to our community in our country to make this the great country that it is. So I want to thank um, the family for sharing Colonel Vang Pong with us. And on behalf of the city of Fresno, I do want to um, join my colleague and former council member um, Blong Zhang, um, presenting a special proclamation on behalf of the mayor and all the council members. And we are proclaiming, actually, today, April 25th, Colonel Vong Fong Day in the city of Fresno. When a 12-year-old picks up a weapon and defends his country and his people, it's not just for himself and for his family, but it's for that, so that his kids and his grandkids don't have to pick up a weapon at 12 years old. 
And after he put the weapon down, after he came to his country, him and his wife continued to advocate for their community. To this day, it is the elders that we listen to. It is the elders that we seek out. It is the elders, like the colonel and his wife, that we ask for support and that give us their support and their blessings so that we, as Latinos and as council members, can represent everyone in our city. We're not just here to be at funerals and celebrate the life of a colonel, but we're here to listen to how we can make the life of the colonel's kids and grandkids better, how their kids and grandkids can be part of our police department, our fire department, can serve with us, aside us, and can also lead us. And on behalf of a community, especially my Latino community, I want to sincerely thank the Colonel and his wife for leading us and showing us how to lead a community that doesn't look like us, speak our language, but most importantly, represents the value of all immigrants in the city of Fresno. So thank you um, for the continued support. Thank you for always being willing to sit with us and teach us what we should know, not only about the community's past, but the needs of the community's future. Because that's what we need to do is protect the future so, that, so no other 12-year-old has to pick up a gun and defend um, their family. Thank you. Chatlanjo Jamie Etobachi Mitsilen Paul Noor, we to Hala, your mum's greatest generation. Paul Noor, Chikanda, the Shito who shot like door, one day blue day door, Chi Tang Chi Jay, Layet door, Tang, Paul Noor Chimunyale, the Shiyoto Ang, 
Valedictorian, Master, Bachelor, PhD, มอเอลิซีนลอลลอลนิชูนลุปอหูตอนตุตูนิตาตูกะจอลุปอหูนอมอตอตะลาชังปัวกะนุเชปอยุกะเชนิจอลุปอหูมองกะนิตะกะมอง
I'm so grateful that he had the opportunity to witness so many of us, Hmong children, first and second generation, succeeding in this country. We are celebrating the legacy he has left behind because all of us, Neishado, we are truly his legacy. Colonel Vafong and General Vapa, their dreams was to ensure that our people could live to their full potential. And for some of us, that dream has been possible. As Ethan Tsai Mong, as a Mong daughter, I know my success would not be possible without the sacrifice and leadership of our elders, our veterans, warriors, and trailblazers who came before me. And I am forever grateful to them. As the Hmong community continues to grow and prosper, I can't help but reflect on how far we've come and how long we still have to go to ensure that we have a world that protects humanity, a world that leaves no one behind. But that world and this world is possible because of Colonel Vafong. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a business woman, a teacher, a doctor, an artist, or an elected like myself, none of it would be possible without Vafong and so many others that paved the way for us. I also just want to mention that while I can't, while I can only stay for a short time with you all today, I really wanted to be here all day today. I too have lost my grandmother, Gunia Tai Zongba. Yeah, my family is actually holding her funeral right now at this very moment as well. But it was important for me to be here, to travel from Sacramento, to honor him and to celebrate him with all of you. Again, I want to thank Colonel Vafong's family for inviting me today. And to Grandpa uh, Vafong, Jatu, Jansai, grandchildren, please know that my sincere thoughts are with all of you. I know that Grandpa Vafong is here today in spirit with all of us. And I know that he is so proud of each and every one of you. And most importantly, I think he's watching this ceremony right now and is just so proud of the beautiful ceremony that all of you have put together and to honor him. Thank you so much for just honoring him so beautifully today. And again, let's continue his legacy by uplifting and lover, loving each other each and every day. Watch out. Good afternoon. It is my honor to be in attendance with you here today. As the Chief of Police of the City of Fresno, I am here to pay my respects to Colonel Van Fong and to his family. Colonel Fong's life was filled with sacrifice for this country, his family, and his community. He exemplifies patriotism and commitment to one's country and family. During his life, he not only served his country, but also the community of Fresno by devoting his life to the preservation of his culture, advocacy for those who could not advocate for themselves, and to the equality and social justice for all persons. His devotion to helping others created life-changing opportunities for many Hmong families in the United States. Colonel Van Bong was a strong supporter of the Fresno Police Department, especially of our community and youth outreach efforts. Being a military man, Colonel Fong understood the importance of discipline and commitment and how it positively influences our community's youth and helped build the foundation for a life of success in giving back to the community. It is my hope that the legacy of Colonel Fong left behind our, in our lives and within the fabric of the city, a legacy that will continue to shape and mold those suffering from poverty, crime, trauma, and disadvantaged circumstances. On behalf of the men and women of the Fresno Police Department, we honor Colonel Van Pong's legacy and contributions to our community. I want to first thank uh, his family, the Colonel's family, for opening the door to their home for us for many years. You see be behind me is many officers that are not Hmong, 
but our Hmong officers, our brothers, have opened up the doors to, for us. And we've been there at the Colonel uh, Vong's uh, table for many, many celebrations, many family celebrations. And for us, Ying, thank you for, for allowing us into your home, into your family's home. Thank you. Uh, also, you can't think about his legacy when you think about Colonel Vang Fong's legacy and you think of family. And uh, I, I look at his family, Justin, his grandson, who's, who's here, a, a good-looking young man, his brother, another good-looking young man, both go to Buchanan High School, his granddaughter, who wants to be a pharmacist and no doubt is going to be the great pharmacist in this community, and his son, who's a corporal in our Fresno Police Department and technically the highest-ranking Hmong officer in our department. And so, uh, again, thank you. Behind me, you see officers that are not Hmong. They're, they're Hispanic. Uh, and I tell you what, there's a special connection between our officers and our Hmong officers. We have fought hard to advocate and so that Hmong officers can advance in our department. And, and uh, you see Ying, who's a, a corporal. Behind me, two detectives. One of them is going to be on a sergeant list. So we're going to continue to advocate for the Hmong community because they hold a special place in Fresno and beyond. Thank you. Kanuke Atao Lucia 
เปจมัวจอเปเอ่อลุจเอเปลุจอจิงยันเตชินดาวจอเปเลลุเชลุจือติตัวละเปตุจุปลีติจิมัวจอละเอทาวกุปาจีวะเนงเนวะเนงมั